You it is good yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today we're gonna be talking about the new moment playoff cards that could be coming to NBA 2K22 my team earlier this week probably tomorrow now we got playoff round one moments on Monday. Now, Monday, look, the, the playoffs are ending today on Sunday. So on Monday, it would work perfect for round two moments cards. Now, again, we only got cards from teams that did advance. So something to think about. I thought maybe they changed that and give, you know, give some cards to some of the losing teams. But that is not the approach 2K has taken. They've only given cards to winning teams. So, I mean... By tonight, we'll know, obviously, who made it through between Boston and Milwaukee and obviously through uh, Dallas and Phoenix. But we know this, guys. The Miami Heat advance and the Golden State Warriors advance. So who are some cards we could see in my team this week for free? We'll talk about that. Now, I, I know the grind is pretty ridiculous for these cards. I'm not grinding it. But if you're grinding it out, here are some cards to think about that you could possibly see. The first guy I'm going to talk about here is Andrew Wiggins. Now, why could we see a moment's Andrew Wiggins? Well, it's one of those things. Look, for Andrew Wiggins and my team, yes, we got to take off Wiggins, but he's been pretty solid and stellar. Outside of one game versus the Memphis Grizzlies, pretty sure that's the blowout, he's been pretty much Mr. Consistent for them. I mean, having a double-double twice, nearly three and four times, rebounding-wise, has been going crazy. Shooting-wise, has been pretty solid, and, I, and that's coming from me, and I'm not even a big Andrew Wiggins fan, but he's just been above average, I would say, throughout this entire playoff series against the Memphis Grizzlies. I don't know why I typed in career stats there, but that's not what I meant to do. Another guy we need to talk about is this guy right here in Looney. Mr. Looney Tunes himself has just played. He'd been horrible. I mean, I can't say he'd been horrible. He's been fine, right? But he'd not been playing a lot of minutes. Pretty mediocre stats. And then in game six, Looney got 35 minutes and tally 22 rebounds, including five assists and four points. 22 rebounds for Looney Tunes deserves a card. I mean, I mean, he just absolutely deserves a card in my team. We don't have a Looney card yet in my team, but he could be a card with jump shot forward if he gets that on very quick change of dribble style. He could be very solid in my team. Mr. Looney Tunes himself could be solid. Obviously, Andrew Wiggins, if we got his card, I think, you know, would be solid as well. But yeah, I, I actually, I was... I was pretty busy I, I, on that night in which Looney Tunes went crazy. So I wasn't able to watch the entire game. And then you check the box score and 22 rebounds was just absolutely ridiculous. Now, obviously, we started with the Warriors because we did uh, we, we do know for sure we're getting those cards, right? Warriors cards there are going to advance. Next guy I want to talk about here is Victor Oladipo. I mean, why am I going to talk about Victor Oladipo here? Well, He's had a pretty good playoff run. From when he started playing to now, I would say overall he's had a pretty solid playoff run. And I think it's a good enough run to get him a card, right? 19 points in game two versus the Sixers played extremely well. Uh, and and I, even the video of Harden and ISO and, and Oladipo just locking him down after not playing early on in the playoffs, it's just fun to see. I mean, Victor Oladipo has been through a lot. And I know we just got to take out Victor Oladipo, obviously. But who says no to a free Victor Oladipo as well? Obviously, the Heat are advancing. And guys like Jimmy, I mean, probably aren't going to get a card because he's so good. But what about this card too, man? What, what about Max Struess in my team? Now, here's the deal for Max Struess. Now, now here, here's the deal, right? We got a moment's Max Struess a while ago. But we don't really have a Max Struess uh, that, that, that of recent that, that really that really could be comparable. But you look at the game log. I mean, he took all of Duncan Robinson's minutes. Then you got 20 points, 19 points in back-to-back -back games. Close out the Philadelphia 76ers and just played pretty well, including 11 and 10 rebounds, respectively. Max Struess has been absolutely incredible for the Miami Heat. And he really is the sole reason in which Duncan Robinson is not seeing any time. So... From the Warriors, from obviously, so we got the Warriors, we got the Heat. Those are my top candidates for both of those teams. Now let's talk about potentials of each team, okay? Let's start in, in, in Boston, okay? We got to talk about this guy. I do believe even if Boston does not win this series, we should get an Al Horford card. He had 30 points in one game against the Milwaukee Bucks. That game was a fun game to watch. 
And that, uh, that was a game in which Giannis made Horford mad and then Horford bounced back in a big, big way. Had five threes. Now, if we did get an Al Horford card, obviously I'd want his release to be the first thing that we look at here because he's got set shot five, which is not a great release. So he'd need a release change. He'd need a couple of things. But lately, obviously, the last couple of games, Horford hasn't done much. I'd be surprised if he played bad today. I really, really would. So just some things to obviously think about, right, with Al Horford. Again, back-to-back -back games, 22-16, and then the next game, 30-8. and eight. Just playing incredible in this series. Another guy that I want to talk about for Boston, obviously Jason Tatum, we know is going off, but are we going to get a Tatum card? Probably not. Grant Williams, right? This game against Milwaukee is the sole game I want to talk about. The rest of the games, he hasn't really done too much, but this game, he had 21 points on 14 shots, including 6 of 9 from the 3-point line. Now, I know he just got a Grant Williams card for free, but he really wasn't next level good. He showed that Grant Williams maybe has potential at the small forward position that would jump shot five. Imagine Grant Williams like this. Jump shot five on very quick, quick dribble style. Just good, great stat wise, even better than he is. He would be solid. I don't, I don't, I don't want to kind of discredit how good Grant Williams I think could be in my team if 2K obviously did make him right. So that's a big thing. Now for me, I got to talk about this guy. I got to, man. I got I got to I got to I got to plug this guy in here. Dorian Finney-Smith. He had eight threes in one game. You got to talk about it. He had 24 points, 8 rebounds and 8 threes in one game for the Mavs. Now, are are the Dallas Mavericks probably going to win the series? Obviously, probably not. But if they do, Dorian Finney-Smith, Professor DFS as you guys know in the community would be so excited if we got him, and I wouldn't be surprised. Another guy, again, for the Dallas Mavericks, it's hard because a lot of it is Luka Doncic, but Reggie Bullock must be talked about as well. I mean, he's throughout the series had a couple of big games, including five threes in the last game, seven of 15, had 19 point game, a 16 point game, a 15 point game. So uh, for Reggie Bullock, uh, again, he's a key to how good the Mavericks are. And I would be, you know, wouldn't totally be stunned if we did get a Reggie Bullock card. If the Mavericks can find a way to win this series. Last up, but certainly not least, okay? Certainly not least, we got the Phoenix Suns. Now, for the Milwaukee Bucks, it, it's it's tough. It, it's really tough to, to, to find a bright spot for the Milwaukee Bucks. Because you can look it up. Brooke Lopez had a 17-point game, but he hasn't been great. Bobby Portis hasn't been great. Grayson Allen hasn't been great. Drew Holiday hasn't been great. It's tough. I mean, Drew Holiday had one game, but he's not efficient. So it's hard to find anybody else outside of Giannis for the Bucks that has really been good. And, and, and it's kind of sad to say that, but it's the truth. Pat Connaughton maybe has been the second, uh, the most common player that's been consistent. I don't know for the Milwaukee Bucks who else I can even plug in there. I, I really don't. Pat Connaughton's maybe my best guess, but I don't really know. But last for the Phoenix Suns, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Devin Booker is the first guy we're going to talk about. Obviously, he's been handling the ball a lot more lately. I feel like this year has been more ball dominant. But he had a 35-point game, a 30-point game, a 28-point game. Just overall, been, he's been shot honey, hungry, I will say that. But he's you know has the points to back it up, including a lot of rebounds, some assists in here as well for Mr. Devin Booker. Now, another guy we need to talk about is DeAndre Ayton. I think DeAndre Ayton, to me, guys, is the key for the Phoenix Suns. When he plays well, I feel like the Phoenix Suns play well. He's been pretty consistent all series long. 25 points, 21 points, 20 points, 16, 14. It has the rebounds to go along with it as well. I like DeAndre Ayton, and, and I, again, I, he's a card that I think would be really solid in my team. So you want moments, predictions for the upcoming week? Those are mine, guys. From uh, no, Again, we don't know for sure who's going to come out again after today. We will uh, we'll, we'll know the teams at least. But it's, it's tough to know for sure, you know, what cards we could possibly see. But again, only going to be from winning teams. And I do like the fact that 2K is giving people the opportunity to get more free cards. Because here's the deal. I mean, last time uh, we got a lot of Dark Matters and Galaxy Opals. Now, were they great? No. But they are usable cards in my team. Let me know your thoughts on these cards, these, you know, thoughts down below in the comments, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new. As always, man, I love you guys, and have a blessed day.